Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Rebel Playoff Action. I'm your host, Superfed TV. We are picking up one of the, f not final, but near the end of the round of 64, as we're calling it, the first round of playoffs. Joining me today is Crusader. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, can't complain too much. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. Um, let's go yeah. ahead and pull up the client and take a look at these two teams. Um, so we're going to be watching the Farm Animals, which are a Chaos team coached by Chabsu, taking on Boss Hog Outlaws, which is a Chorf team coached by Volpez. So this is uh, two real teams going at it. And there they are. Okay. Let's find their teams in here. Uh, what page? There's Farm Animals. Let's take a look at them first. Uh, Chabsu is a confident, if not cocky. Uh, coach from the RAL on the rise. <laughs> However, his chaos team in the very last week against his arch rival Spoonie Bard uh, suffered some permanent damage, if you will, uh, to a underworld team. Specifically, uh, they lost a chaos warrior. They had another perm to a chaos warrior. Ouch. They had another perm to a chaos warrior, and they had a perm to a beastman. So, I know it was only one one nickel. He had one before. That's right. Um, so this agi bust is not a big deal, but it is now nickeled as well. That sucks. Unfortunate. Uh, the other chaos warrior. This one was nickeled all along, I believe. He did pick up claw very recently. Uh, yep, that one was nickeled all along. Um, Let's see, he's got a solid ball carrier. All the mutations and arms and things that you would expect. Arms and heads. Uh, let's see. We've got a killer with palm and all those wonderful skills. Working on his way towards probably Juggernaut or Jump Up. And Blodge Guard. Strength 4, Armor Bust, which also just happened in that last game, but... Uh, Curious to see where he builds that guy out. Hopefully more guard. So that's this team. He is sitting currently on a cheerleader and a coach assistant. And then at... Actually, uh, looking at the pig, I like I like the uh, optimism of a leaping beastman. Yeah. I'm going to ignore that piece till it does a thing. But uh, <laughs> when it does a thing, it'll be cool. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the chore team. See what they are looking at in inducements. 2010 was the magic number there. <laughs> Uh, ba, 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 ba. What's the team he's playing against Boss, today? It's, Hogs, uh... Outlaws, Chorfs. There it is. So they are 1610 DV, so they're looking at 400 in inducements. Um, he's got 150 in the bank as well, so he could throw the whole farm at the farm animals. Um, <laughs> strength up. Half strip blocker looks pretty good. A whole junk load of mighty blow uh if wedges team had this much mighty blow i don't think jape would have won um oh it's, yeah it's probably that true. was well we're gonna say that was two days ago <laughs> i think it, this weekend's a blur <laughs> spoilers uh <laughs> and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, and uh yeah. blodge bull centaur so there you go this is a pretty well developed one season cast work team though that's for sure uh, it does not have one key ingredient, though, and that is Claw. So, some of those niggled Chaos Warriors for Chabsu will breathe a little bit easier knowing that their armor has to get broken before they can get fully removed. Um, I don't know. What do you do with 400 in inducements and 150 in the bank? Just trying to think, remember what inducements chorfs get i mean they, as far as i remember the chorfs don't exactly have the greatest inducement he could uh, get a pack chainsaw he can spend 330 to get a strength five bull centaur or it's just going to be wizard and bribes wizard and bribes would probably be where i was at two babes too he doesn't have a dirty player though so yeah you can induce a dirty player he's got a, a junk load of hobos I don't think he needs that many hobgoblins. I mean, ones. You, could, you could go, you could go chainsaw plus bribes. Yeah, I would go against chaos for sure. Two babes, wizard, apo bribe. 
Hmm. Just to play the attrition game. It's just the problem with the chores. I just they just don't have the greatest inducements to choose from. Like aside from the generic sort of wizard bribes and all that, their star players feel a little lackluster. I mean, you have the best base team, so why get the best inducements as well? Hmm. I mean, Hathark's a nice pickup. Yeah. Uh, Le Lascaris in the chat saying that three guard could be an issue. I tend to agree. Uh, Chorfs do need a healthy stack of guard if they're going to try and muscle a bash match, as we saw with the uh, match earlier today. Um, yeah, it's uh, very aggressive to just go mighty blow for basically your first skill. Yeah, they're they're for definitely sure. outguarded. Chorfs. Five guard on the the chaos side as well as uh, a little bit more strength. Um, so that's something to watch for. Let's go ahead and take a peek and see if the match is live. Not up yet. Not up yet. I keep clicking search, it'll just come up, right? Eventually. If you, you works, stick yeah. with it long enough. I'm doing the opposite <laughs> approach and just pounding their uh, Discord with pings. <laughs> Did you uh, see the beautiful meme? that I was uh, starring in today. The uh, going to kicks mm -hmm. one? Yes, I did. And then got a chuckle. Yeah. Waiting on Chad. <laughs> well, we got 35 people in the viewer in, in the uh, chat. So if every single one of us was to ping Chabsu, the exact same time. <laughs> not in not in the actual Discord though. You have to you have to PM him. That's the best way to do it. I'm gonna advocate for a lynch. Rob would like to know what nine plus five is. Uh, Mr. uh yeah, that's a good meme too. Quick math. Uh, <laughs> it equals a four die is what the answer is there. A four die. A four die. Yes. Four die block. The uh, yeah, the legendary fabled mythical four die. <laughs> <laughs> Playoffs, the best of times. Uh, God, it's hard to believe that was just a season ago. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Feels like yesterday. Such, yeah, such glorious memes like uh, Fed's quick math and uh, the semi screen. The hipster half screen is still somewhere on. I've got a whole file full of all these wonderful memes that we kept, we made up last season. Yeah. Shouldn't have to scroll too far back in the playoffs now. I think about like the spoiler channel now. I think about it. Because realistically, how much how much are people talking playoff spoilers when there's no playoffs? Actually, more than you'd think. I mean, basically, rail chat dies as soon as the uh, playoff chat takes over. <laughs> uh, if I search for semi screen, it was intentional. I know that. I know the semi screen was definitely intentional. <laughs> Got so many fiction memes. Those are kind of stale. Although he hasn't played yet. So actually, the fiction memes, they're no longer stale because he's going to play in the next round. He won the bye week. Which is like his third time winning the bye uh, week. We can just recycle them. Yes, yes. Meme recycling is very important. 
Yeah, I mean, memes live, and then they die, and then they get brought back to life. It's the circle of meme life. Uh, um, nope. Oh, well, not live. Patiently wait, or impatiently wait. Uh... Mm, well, the hipster one die block memes. Oh, I found them. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Tasty's hipster screens is pretty good. Ah, <laughs> uh, God bless imageflip.com. <laughs> Here's one, here's one. Uh, I'll put it up on the stream here. <laughs> Save that one for every time fiction succeeds a frenzy trap. <laughs> That's not a bad one. <laughs> yep, she's on. We're almost done, boys. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Most types one is great as well. <laughs> Oh, I have the one for your uh, Gear Bear. Uh, let me put that up here. Almost stale because we've talked about it to death, but still like the meme because it didn't get used <laughs> enough. When you are a skink and fail a GFI, breaking armor, resulting in a badly hurt, Gare Bear is your coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I fucking love bad memes. <laughs> I think everyone can just hear that shrill, high pitched squeal. Skeet! <laughs> Skeet! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a whiskey. <laughs> oh, when is this game gonna start? I'm gonna die of old age before it starts. Yeah, this is definitely already a half hour ago. Supposed to start. I like how people continue to ask who's streaming when like there's a stream announcements tab and people make announcements and This is how Mistace feels every game. <laughs> like Call of Duty will be out before I uh before this thing starts. Is that tomorrow? The twelfth over here. I don't know. Friday for oh, me. All right. Honestly, I'm just waiting for artifacts. So finding games to mm. fill my time until then. When's the beta for that start? No official word, but I have access. Mm. So you do the math. I don't, it's weird that they would give people access to the beta, but without telling you when it starts. And we know the official <laughs> like launch date of the game is at the end of November. Yeah. And Fallout 76 is supposed to be out in November as well. Uh, I would say this is mistakes, but um, Jamis, this could apply to any 
unlucky coach. It's this small apartment. <laughs> I think that could apply to any number of games that have been cast over the playoffs. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, some of these are so not safe for work. Uh... <laughs> They're the best ones, man. The best ones. I've been working. I've got inducement phase. Oh, oh, oh! Inducement phase. Things are happening. All right, all right. Let me hide these uh, dank memes. Uh... The dank memes. My mother asked me what a meme was the other day. It was a... Oh, it's up. Interesting time trying to uh, explain it to her. They're just silly pictures, Mum. Silly pictures. Oh, God, we went Grashnak. How to throw a Blood Bowl match 101. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit is that, Fed? <laughs> Nothing at all. I don't get the feeling that Nothing uh, at all. <laughs> it's been to cut, to cut out in that picture. <laughs> nope, that's uh, exactly how that works. Nothing cut out at all. Yeah, no. Have I slept in the last 48 hours? Of course I have. All right, so we uh, are seeing the Chaos team set up on defense, which tells me that the Force have won the toss. And look at that. We got Grashnak Black Hoof. How to throw a Blood Bowl match 101. That is a big old moo cow. Train six. It's still only AV8. So. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have wild animal life, which, I mean, I guess Less is... shit than shit, but still shit. Yeah. I mean, they say you can't polish a turd, but you can. You can actually polish a turd. There's an African tribe who do it. I mean, it's probably more of like a dehydrated turd, so, I mean, you could pick it up, but... <laughs> it's... Yeah, 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 you still have it's still, shit. Still just shit. Yeah. Yeah. Just take away the, the mushiness of wild animal. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the follow there, Grandview King. I need to remember to extend that just bad. That is such a creepy looking fucking gift, too. <laughs> America. <laughs> Whack off for freedom. Do your civil service. It's also yeah. It's also a bribe in play, so. That would, <laughs> so, no wizard, bribe, star player. They are choices. I mean, quote unquote star player, right? We'll see. It remains to be seen, actually. It could be, you know, <clears throat> significant. Could be. Will, Gr Will Grashnak last longer than Big Rat? Uh, mm, maybe. I've just got my eye on the pig. I just want to see the Leaping Beastman animation. Nothing special. I honestly think of all the things that they animated... I think they went pretty lazy on the leap for a lot of players. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Grash Dak dragging the overall average speed up slightly. Get the ref cancelled by the sandwich kiosk. And a touchback. 
See, that is why I have the sandwich kiosk. Because I don't want people getting extra bribes. Well, sorry, Mr. Fun Police, but I prefer a wizard stadium. <laughs> right away, a KO. Give the ball to Crash Neck. An option. <laughs> Kind of weird you put the frenzy beast man on the line of scrimmage. Another KO. Second KO. Hmm. The unfortunate start or chaos. Well, I mean, the frenzy beastman, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, is probably the most likely candidate to go on the line of scrimmage considering the beasts that are on the field. Three from four blocks for armor bricks. Yeah, it's off to a good start for the chores considering no claw. I mean, it was against armor eight, though, so Mighty Blow sort of helped out there. Yeah, that's chaos. Just a bunch of horny elves and. Or. No, oh, sorry, there was one Chaos War Warrior. warrior. <laughs> Okay, so Chaos turn. Let's see where we're at here. Oh, the Grashnak model is cool, but Grashnak's just bad. It's pretty cool. I would want to miniature that. He's got some serious cankles, though. <laughs> <laughs> crash that making it plays might as well a wild animal. You talk about things to do with the Warhammer IPP or IPP IP, um, a game where you could play as a Minotaur and just bulldoze through armies of elves <laughs> and dwarves <laughs> and goblins. That would be a very fun game. <laughs> Minotaur's greatest day out. Going right for the star player. I see your 300k piece. <laughs> and I erase it in one turn. I erase you. Claw fall. Not following. Maybe a little bit of a chicken out because of the bribe. Even though there's really not a dirty player and a good foul opportunity. But uh, I'll let Chabsu have that. Playing conservative to start. He out it. When you say conservative, do you mean moving all of these players to the right-hand side of the field? Conservatively giving up all pitch yes, control. Yes, that's what's happening. Yes. I am confused. It's a feint. Ah, it's a trap. It's a mm -hmm. trick. It's I mean, to be... be Fair to Jabsu, those short, stubby little dwarf lakes can only get so far up the pitch before uh, the chaos can just get right back in front of him. But it's a choice for sure. Yeah, it definitely feels like those two KOs basically <laughs> are soft, are making him soft conceive this drive, which is not how you get back into it. And I feel like this Blodge Beast Man is about to. A little hobo chin music. The Shawn Michaels effect. Oh, 
problem here is though, by giving up so much space on the left hand side, like, Chorf's just stalled for like the next six turns, right? Mm, you can put pressure on him. I mean, you can see we've got a giant meat cube for this foul, so it's not like the Chorf's are really taking up <laughs> that much pitch. Yeah, but I don't need to. Armor break, but did not remorted with the removal because there's no dirty player. And let's see what Chabsu decides to do in response, but my guess is we're probably going to see another hit on the... Oh, we're definitely going to see one actually with the Chaos Warrior, and then maybe a Blitz onto... I would probably actually go after the Guard Mighty Blow blocker. I think we're going to see Gr Grashnak just be punched. And foul. I don't like the foul. You're down players already. Um, or pile on and then foul. <laughs> bold choice. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, trading Grashnak for a touchdown is a pretty decent rate of return, isn't it? If you get him, but you have to get him first. And we have not got him yet. Well, I mean, I'm sorry for Chabzu right now. Like, he'd be pretty happy with this. You know, there's three hobgoblins on the sidelines. If there wasn't, I would say go for that squishy hobgoblin that's doing the fouling and just take away that option. Mm. But. Since there is such a deep bench of that, it's better to go after these blockers. And you've got one that you can two-die very easily. Don't know what that accomplished with the strength four piece. I'd say good return for the chorfs, to be honest. Could have freed up his own. Well, no, I guess not. Gone towards the warrior. But yes, the score is inevitable. It's just a matter of if Chabsu can. Force it to be a little bit earlier than turn seven, then it's kind of a win. If not, then this was just a weird, weird, weird drive. E self. It was an interesting choice. E self is a classic chabs who complaining about lack of removals, or is classic chabs who a five plus pass for the win? <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, Vulpes should just be pressuring with these numbers, with his numbers advantage. It is his numbers advantage of two, and he does have to protect the ball. So where he's going to have the real advantage is on, actually, uh, Grashnak taking up four players. Yeah. I mean, you say he's going to protect the ball, but, like, Chebzu's a country mile away from the ball carrier at the moment. I mean, the strength four horns, you can... Pretty sure it can still get there. Well, I mean, like, you've got there. two bull centaurs, so you can cover it up. I think it can still get there for a two die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just one short, unless we make a second dodge. Excuse me. One, two. Yeah, just one shy. This decision to go and try and hunt down Grashnak is really just not doing Chabzu any favors. 
it would be fine if it worked, but it's not working, so now it's really, really bad. <laughs> but I mean, if you did get yeah. rid of him I, in your I, first I, boss, he's stuck to it. Yeah, like it, right now, there should be where you cut bait, Oops. and you only got a stun, so stop trying. Yeah, let him sit there for two turns. The Bull Centaur is less than Grashnak, and it's a much better option. Well, Bull Centaur wouldn't have drawn that much attention because it's one less strength. So, in that sense, if if yeah, you knew that your opponent, third Bull Centaur, if though. you knew that your opponent was gonna overcommit like this to take it out, <laughs> I think that's worth get a huge hard on. Yeah. Hathark's just a much better player. We are going for the hobo. Weird. And we didn't follow it up, so we're still not piling on. Well, I mean, if you do remove the hobgoblin, Volpez is less likely to fail. He's not likely to fail. Chorf, is he? That's weird. Why do we always get the weird ones, Superfed? I don't know. We've got an exposed ball carrier, which, if I'm Volpez, I think I hit every single time. Pretty short, though, isn't he? All he has to do is put guard in there for... Granted, your base and claw mighty blow with guard, but if you put guard in there, then you got uh, a very easy two die on the ball carrier. And if the, if the dog, the ball carrier goes down, uh, Chapsy's day gets significantly more difficult. Yeah, paying 300 odd K to get a touchdown is probably pretty good. <sighs> Didn't even. Now, if, Chap if Chapsy knocks down this frenzy piece, there's just and then moves forward like one square. There's no one that can reach him. Yeah. There's nothing he can he, There's nothing he can Then he can pull everybody back into the fight. Yeah. That's why I, just... I really think that strength four guy and the frenzy piece both should have come down. Mm hmm. Uh, sorry, Volpez. Like, he's just in such a commanding position right now because Chaps has spent three turns hunting Grashnak. After the initial line of scrimmage blocks, though, really no damage. Now all the ball carry needs to do is just step forward one square, and there's absolutely nothing they can Doesn't reach. Doesn't even need to do that, really, right now. He's well screened. Chaos coaches tend to get blinded by the desire to kill things. I mean, some. Is, Gra is Grashnak cheaper than I thought? I thought it was the other way around. No, I think Grashnak is cheaper. Would make sense, because Hathark is just infinitely more useful. There's a nice one die. <laughs> That's where we're at again. Dwarven one day. Dwarven one die. I feel like that could be a haiku. <laughs> Let's see your dwarven one die haikus in the chat. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how a haiku is structured. Five seven five. That's it. No pylon needed. 
and the strength for dwarf has been pitch removed. Badly hurt. We could see the apple pop out here. Does not elect to use the apple. And I'd say that that is a significant blow to the Chaos Dwarf team. Now we're starting to see a little bit of aggression come out of Jabsu only four turns in. As he drops the base. I don't know why he based that guy. It's because he's dropped. It's because he's dropped trying to deal with Grashnak. Grashnak does have movement six, so he could be in the fight next turn. Why can't you lower the stream quality settings today? So the way that it works, Troc, um, is that I am just a lowly pleb affiliate. And uh, no, you're, you're higher than a Twitch. Higher than a pleb. Twitch prioritizes the during peak hours uh, the streamers that are not plebs and that are actual partners, and so they all partners will always have access to stream quality settings. Um, affiliates will only get access to that when the bandwidth allows for it. Which this being a Monday night peak hours, you got Doctor Disrespect, Disrespect, and all those big names streaming right now. So uh, they're using all those resources. But when it's, you know, 11 o'clock at night, nobody else is streaming, or in, you know, big O times, uh, then you're going to more likely have those resources available. The real answer is that uh, you get the rest of us partnered like uh, Heron Zord, and then we can have those on all day. Heron Zord, your partner, did he? He made it. I don't know if he took it, but he was qualified for it at the end of last playoffs. Oh, nice. Yeah. I think he streamed the perfect amount of time. If you stream too much, you bring your average down. Um, yeah. And I think every time he streamed, it's a weird it, it was over 100 viewers for the playoffs. So it worked out perfectly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sock, thanks for the follow. I think I got the length perfect there. It's such a weird game. <laughs> My specialty. If you're coming in late to the chat here, uh, we saw two KOs on the line of scrimmage, just very fast and easy removals. For the Chaos Dwarves. Then not a lot happened. Uh, Chapsu focused entirely on Grashnak and uh, let the Chaos Dwarves just slowly breeze walk on by. Um, and now finally just got their first removal on turn four to uh, take out that strength four blocker. Blitz coming in onto the ball carrier. It's away with just a push. After a reroll was blown. <laughs> See, yana has got one in chat. <laughs> I see Arnold. There's there's our first Dwarven One Die Haiku. Therefore it is the best. Well done. Oh, that's another good one too from Swag Dusk. <laughs> a dwarf through dice. It was the fattest of pows. He then won the game. <laughs> Warhammer Frog also made one too. I need to go back. My linos have block. Other teams get not but rocks. I throw 1D blocks. That's good because it rhymes as well. That's impressive. <laughs> the pig has been KO'd. Ah. I wanted to see the leap. This is such a weird, bored state of the game. You literally have right. just the chaos sandwiched between a bunch of dwarves and Grashnak. <laughs> Grashnak. 
<laughs> I wonder if we'll see the uh, the chaos pull back. The chaos crash. The chaps again. who made like no attempt or effort at all to apply pressure to the ball. It's literally just you outnumber me, so I'm gonna punch That's you sad. until you don't. Hmm. Between a bull and a hard place, Warhammer Frog says. <laughs> Oh, oh, we realize there's uh, a ball. That is a shit haiku cheese. There might be a ball in action, so we sent our cheese. slowest player, the cow, around the side. Hmm. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Technically, we do have a threat on the ball. Technically. Ball mighty blow. Unless he steps to the left one square, right? Is a lie? Yes, exactly. All he has to do is move over one square. We'll have more two die blocks to throw. Targeting a bull centaur. Maybe we can finally start piling on. That might be a thing. Wouldn't hold my breath. Maybe. This would be a time to pile on. Mighty blow was not used. Nothing. Hmm. No one's claw, actually. Exposing the ball carrier again. Now, the ball is actually under serious threat. I would assume that we're just going to see a blitz onto the dog and then moving left, but... We might see the score if the blitz does not go well. Crash Nag surf on no balls. He could have surfed, it's true. It would have been GFIs, but... I think uh, everyone that's been watching Blood Bowl today knows that star player GFIs can break your heart. <laughs> GFIs in general. I played orcs, man. You don't have to tell me. Yeah. I swear it's hard-coded. I swear that's hard-coded. If there was justice in the world, the coach that makes the most GFIs would uh, lose every game. He does get the knockdown, so we won't see the score, I don't think. Long pause. <laughs> oh man, if oil is made from decomposed dinosaurs, plastic is made from oil. Are plastic dinosaurs made from real dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> In a manner of speaking, sure. <laughs> I feel like that would be a good tweet from uh, Jaden Smith. <laughs> Everything that kid writes is comedy gold. Warhammer Frog calling for the ball carrier and hobgoblin to foul the chaos ball carrier. <laughs> Don't know if that's what we're going to see today. What you could do instead would be a couple dodges and GFIs with a little, little uh, Kiki. Little Kek. <laughs> Kek. Kiki. I'm going to go Kiki to avoid sounding like anything else. You racist.
All right, Claw continues to not do much. You can knock down at least though. Frenzy, the most useful of skills. When it works. Another claw mighty blow shot. This oh, one's an actually a knockdown. Yeah. Bob, one, three, two, one, two, five. Thanks for the follow. I can't look at your stream anymore. <laughs> A gif is just so disturbing. <laughs> just wish it was staring into the camera. It's the only way that gets better. <laughs> that is the only way it gets better. <laughs> Why don't you just edit it in Photoshop? I'm not that talented. Uh, we do see a dodge blitz coming out of chaos. And the ball is now marked. But you, Pressure on but, the ball for like the first time. Yeah, he piles this on because he knows he cannot protect the surf. And snakes on the pile on. Okay, still can't protect that surf, but uh, we're going to risk it anyway. I feel like the sheep needs to dodge. He does. Now where is he going to put him? I feel like I would put them somewhere up here. What, above the two chops? Yep. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be the worst spot for him to stop them from trying to dodge out and clear off the dog. If that dodge failed, though, the ball carrier was getting served every time. I hope we don't see a Grashnak Blitz. I feel like there could be a better place. <laughs> I feel like clearing the threat to the ball carrier is the correct play. I feel like that is not the right spot. Interesting choice. Well, this seems like a very easy clear clear and score. I suppose he does have to get the knockdown. Otherwise, he has to do another block. Gets the knockdown though, so no additional blocks are required if you would like to score. And that looks like what we're gonna see. Well, he's done well, smalling it until turn seven. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, well, I say he's done well, but really, <laughs> Chabs who help a lot. Back in one second. It's true, Warhammer Frog. He did not felt a lot that drive, considering the player number advantage he was up. Only one <clears throat> KO returning means that we are probably going to see a numbers advantage still for Chaos, but we will get another KO check in a second here. Or actually, no, more than one came back. Uh, we saw two out of three, so that's actually fine. We'll still be at 11 players. Yes, the Grash Deck strategy is now officially a thing. Because we probably <laughs> won't see him in any other use, so... We'll be known as purchasing Grash Deck to 
bait your opposing chaos coach <laughs> into a free touchdown. The, the touch, the Grashnak touchdown. How far back he is now, protecting Grashnak at all costs. <laughs> He's an offensive tool. Well, yeah, tool is the word I use. Well, okay, that saves him. You want to live in the Grashnak meta? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we will see Grashnak in the Open Invitational. <laughs> Oops. Are you uh, taking your Kislevites in the OY? I completed a purchase transaction today, actually, that uh, will encourage me to play in the OI. Ooh! There was some Kislev on the, uh, on the open market? It was a peer-to-peer -peer trade from two returning Kislev teams. Ooh. I Ooh, what'd you get? acquired a Blanche Guard Catcher for 240k. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I think I got the better end of that Who deal. Who sold you that? Because, I mean, what else are you going to do with that money? Unless he's buying something else from somebody else that I don't know about. But I don't I don't know what else he's going to do with that money. But, uh, Corn Knight. Repurchase Blitzes? Probably, yeah. I guess he could get two Blitzers for that. But, yeah, now I've got four guard. And two of it is on Blodge. So, I'm pretty happy. Nice. And it's on Blodge that can leap anywhere on a 2+. plus, So that makes me even more happy. Yeah, but you never leap. With my guard pieces, I do. <laughs> the only thing that works on my team. Giving myself two dice. But, uh... You see, Cheese, when it comes to Kislev coaches, they don't get relegated. If I could have been relegated, I would have. <laughs> I mean, I was bottom three, so. Yeah, but it's the first season, Kiss Love. It's, it's even yeah. tougher than. I know, I saw. Uh, I mean, Lewish. Like Lewish. So hard. <laughs> uh, Lewish is now going Kislev, so. That'll be some, hopefully, replacement players for my team next season. Or the <laughs> season after, I should say. I mean, that Orc first season so difficult. So hard. Yes, Hendy. Four guard, just for you. Kiss like guard is so much fun. It's weird that we just are not seeing very much damage today. What is Mighty Blow? Uh, a fake skill, Alex. We need to send up more goats. We don't have enough goats up front for reasons. <laughs> Individual scoring spreads, right? It was a short kick. I mean, this is very much a possible two turn. T self will happily tell you the tales of Absu's five plus passes. <laughs>
Doesn't look like we're going to see a Blitz, though, which is a little disappointing. It's about a Claw Palmer. Would have liked to see him on the line just to go after one of these dwarves. Know that you're probably not getting fouled. No, it's going uphill pressure. I wouldn't hate it. He's got to reroll to burn anyway. Just do the pickup first and uh, hide behind your Chaos Warriors. Mm-hmm. Howard. Literally a coward. There's my pun. <laughs> I'm gonna change his if he doesn't win this game, I'm gonna change his name to Howard Gabsu. <laughs> You know you love it. <laughs> it. It's certainly something. I'll grant that much. He does blitz something at least. It's the ultimate scoring turn, yeah. It's really not a bad position for Chapsu to score here. Like, there are enough threats. It's still going to be a bunch of dice, don't get me wrong. A bunch of dice, but there are enough threats that these Chorfs cannot simply just base everything and hope that that's enough. Uh, I've got a phone call coming in. I'll uh, back in a second. No worries. If you only could blitz one target, I think you go for the most reliable touchdown, which is one that doesn't require GFIs. Maybe you also go for the chicken too, the frenzy one. Reason for that being that you can probably get in front of two of these guys. With guard. Eh. Actually. The more I think about it, the more I think this is... Well, this one's got dodge. That's its own threat, and it's only one GFI. I think this is a good turn for Grashnik to Blitz because he's got Frenzy, so that can push him out of scoring range, even if he doesn't get the knockdown. Go for the Blodger here. Then you're not worrying about assists, and then you move the rest of your pieces to block these guys. And then last action would be to dodge out uh, the Hobgoblin and get a second mark on whoever's standing. Like that. Line of play. That does not appear to be the line of play that we're going for. Reroll used. He does find the pal, so that'll eliminate one of the scoring threats. Trying to make the dodges harder. Good. At this point, though, I really think the score is going to come on the right flank. You also have this guard piece that's two GFIs away. Now also based. And he will double up on the right side. So, potentially, um, one that jumps out to me most of all is this really easy surf play. That helps a little bit. Um, but you've got a really easy surf here, and then if you want to make the GFIs after, you can also throw a pass into the end zone. I think that's probably the play that I would take, just because I get a consolation prize if I don't uh, get the touchdown. The stand firm makes this not a good choice.
Alright, I'll rename one of them to Mommy. I like this choice. Um, no dice required. Just a two die block, no dodge or anything. Now it's just two GFIs to score. But before you do that, again, I would consider doing the surf. I guess it's not easy at this point, so you might as well just go for it. Be a one die and a two die to do that. And Chapsu goes for the touchdown instead. Gets the touchdown. What if I called him uh, the cowherd mommy? If it's Chapsu. But yeah, that's right. I forgot these guys are a recapper team. So we do enter the halftime, 1-1 uh, all. The trick play by uh, Chapsu to, you know, play dead for a couple turns. Appears to have worked out in his favor because he did technically force the score with enough time to get a touchdown back. I think Volpez defended that two turn not in the most ideal way. He kept an extra blocker on the line because he was trying to reduce the damage. I think he was more worried about Chabsu just skipping the score and doing damage and didn't pay enough respect to Chabsu wanting to get the touchdown. Um, it might have been... I have returned. Welcome back. It might have been better for, for Volpez to actually offer up more blocks in order to have less scoring threats against him, um, which is not conventional wisdom, I admit. Yeah, it seemed like a fairly straightforward by the numbers touchdown, that one really, didn't it? It did. All he had to do was clear off one scoring threat, make uh, three plus catch, and uh, two GFIs. So a pretty minimal amount of dice. Really, now the burden goes heavily on to uh, Volpez, who does not have a wizard. So, Grashnak needs to start to pull in his weight on defense. And we need to see some serious fouls. Yeah, Luke, uh, letting your opponent pass for the 2-1 grind can work. It definitely can. Um, usually you want to have the option for both plays, though. Mummy versus daddy match. <laughs> exactly. Sort of a quiet game, all things considered. Really is. Just one badly hurt with the amount of claw mighty blow shots that have been going around. And another one. Seems like the armor dice are just soft today. Ooh. Ooh, I tells you. Just means that you need to foul harder. Right. You show me a game that doesn't have a lot of removals and I... Show you teams that aren't fouling enough. <laughs> I don't know. I cast a game the other day that had plenty of fouls. Well, plenty of removals and still not enough fouls. 
That's the way it goes. When was that game played? Can I talk about it yet? Taylor can see. <laughs> or leaping enough. Yes, that's true. I think leap has a minus, well, probably a plus two mighty blow against armor. That fails. Has it been has it been forty eight hours since the Ravens Claw match in Battle Brothers? I f feel like I feel like it was Saturday, but I don't know when Saturday. I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes, yes. It's been forty eight hours. We can talk about Gotti. <laughs> <laughs> Removing his own his own killer. Yeah. There's a strategy. Thanks for the bits, Cthulhu Collector. It's Saturday morning, so we are 48 hours past. Excellent, excellent, excellent. My God, what a shit show that was. God, he has had some memorable playoff appearances. All right, another blitz from the rabbit. Claw mighty blow. Still not doing a thing. I'm fine with him not piling that one on. It is not the most defensible position. I feel like he's just going to sit back and be, again, very passive, waiting for the removals to kick in. So, so much what Gaudi didn't do, it's what his Bretonian opponent didn't do. Uh, but the vote of that's on my channel. But Jesus Christ, what a game that was. Yeah, Calric and his Battle Brothers uh, are a little shy with their boots. A little shy with everything. Poor old Darby, Swag, Tusk, and I, we just couldn't hold it together by the end. This is one of those dainty bash matches where they just... <laughs> dainty bash. They just want to hit one player a turn, and they don't want to give up any extra blocks in order to get extra blocks. Well, they're not hunting down Grashnak for six turns again. That's, that's so. true. I think an improvement in general. But the problem is for Volpez, if he doesn't take any risks, um, I think he does eventually lose this. Being that he's the one that doesn't have Claw, and he gave mm -hmm. up a touchdown already on his drive. It onto an 89 piece, just a push, and he pushes them away and doesn't follow, continuing the dainty dance. Swing your partner round and round. In Volpez's position, I would be seeking out Beastman shots any anywhere I could, or the Niggles. Uh, yeah. A yep. bevy of niggles to choose from. Um, and then just focusing those with Mighty Blow. Trying to get into a position where you can use your guard better than Chabzu can use his. Right now Chabzu has multiple three guard back off the front line. Mighty Blow and Claw do technically different things. When you combine them together, they do good things. Um, <laughs> and there's another... They do horrible, horrible things when you combine them with together. With Palm. <laughs> yeah. Not even the floor, Death Floor, is really interested in blood here today. As uh, AV7 holds strong. Fat Tony. Still stand strong. <laughs> Tapsu. <laughs> All right, he base something. See if he blitzes a different thing.
the ultimate mind game. Base up, play something else. Well, it's how you get more blocks. Okay, yes. Finally, we are going to see more than one block a turn next turn. I also like that Chabzu is not going up this left side with the ball. Just because that's asking mm -hmm. for Grashnak to start surfing. Now I'm curious where the Blitz is going, though. Oh, it is going to be that same blocker. Well, he might consider piling this one on, because it's going to be a little bit more protected, but he's not. Too bad, because he did find the armor break there. Yeah, but I mean, uh, maybe a worthwhile uh, pile on. I think he'd used Mighty Blow, though, but he wouldn't have known. A little extra GFI to stay safe as well. You know, T Self, after that rant, it felt like Sif Muna did get targeted a little bit more. But, uh. <laughs> it's not my fault that your opponents don't know how to play against Pro Elves. I do look forward to ArchXL playing in Rail 1 next season. That'll be a lot of fun. It'll... Actually, Rail 1 will be really weird. I shouldn't say that. I don't know what Rail 1's going to look like. It... There's so <laughs> many rerolls next season. Yeah, I think in Big O we're sort of having that question ourselves. What the makeup of Division 1 will look like. Yeah. I mean, it's a long time coming. I think there's a lot of teams that... Kind of stuck around probably longer than they wanted to. Like, had Sace made mm. playoffs, you know, several seasons ago. I don't know if he's still playing team this far. But I believe he is re-rolling, so... That'll be a big, big, long-standing person out. Horny Cricket retiring will also be out. NPA back to retirement. I think Stu Bean sticks around, keeps his team. Isn't that all moving to the big guy? That would be amusing. <laughs> Mildly amusing, yeah. NPA signed up, huh? Interesting. Yeah, Stu Bean's is re-rolling, huh? I think I'm going to do one final REL 1 through 3 recap this week to touch base on the status of all the teams and uh, do kind of a pre devastational for those teams. Uh, I've been trying to get Rumblebee to do a final one with me, and he's just been so damn busy lately, so. <laughs> I need to find a new co caster, a more regular one. Switching sides of the pitch. I need my co-cast to be reliable. Yeah, exactly. Uh, switching sides of the pitch. We see a blitz again onto this uh, block with Mighty Blow. Again, not followed. Again, not piled on. Interesting GFI. I joke access. Yeah, we'll shout out your passing record there, T-Self.
Uh, no. Any big deaths? Big dying. deaths would require big removals, in which there's really not. There is a badly hurt uh, blocker on turn four, and three KOs. Last dr drive. Ooh, a one die. Rerolled. Overtime format. That is a factor. It's a frenzy block. Double one die. Into more pushes. This is an interesting choice. Yeah, it's a pretty dull affair. You hear chaos, you hear chops, you think violent matchup. You hope, you pray. Mm. I think we finally have Chabzu, though, in a position with guard and strength and enforcing enough dodges that he will be getting some follow up blocks here. But not using this bribe to its fullest capacity may come back to haunt Wolves. I think blue balling is a appropriate <laughs> description of what we've seen thus far. Considering the amount of niggles and mighty blow that's on the pitch and armor busts, I think we all had greater expectations of climaxing. Arnold. <laughs> oh, God. Even Nuffle and the push dice are not impressed. Look at all these pushes. Tantric blood <laughs> 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 We just need to get to overtime. <laughs> oh, don't say that. The perms are coming. They're coming real soon. They're so close <laughs> to coming. It's not going to kicks. We release the kicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's one way to describe kicks. That's that's certainly for sure. Now, why wouldn't you have followed that up with your guard piece? Seems silly, but you got a one die knockdown, so I guess that's something. All right, we finally got mm, four blocks and a blitz. Cunning Fox, I, I don't know. Uh, questions asked, how do you induce this Mino star player and then not blitz with him to open up a gap through the line? I don't know what value a strength six piece is doing when it's part of a screen. Uh, unfortunately, horns don't count towards break tackle. But still, <laughs> strength six break tackle is fine. I would agree Volpez is playing this a little too close to the vest considering he is basically down a touchdown. Do finally get an armor break with Claw on a warrior.
Still have a couple more blocks left. Surf maybe up, brah. In fact, the only way he doesn't get surfed, other than obviously Volp's not seeing it, is if uh, there's another sacrifice. And the only player to really sacrifice should be the rabbit, which is not going to happen. So, whether or not Volp sees the surf, could not say. But all he has to do is base the uh, goat three, and that's a three die surf. And if you induce the star player with frenzy and strength six, one would think that you'd be looking for the surf all game long. Right. No blitz this turn, either. Well, so far, he can still do it. I guess you hit the stand firm guy and hope he doesn't kill your killer. <laughs> Maybe you hit the hobo if you're a coward. Hope in the time of Blood Bowl. He's probably going to hit the hobo. Yeah. No, he does go for the stand firm. He does get the knockdown. DJ Screw. Will he follow? Probably not. Even though I think he should. He does follow. Doesn't need to pile on. DJ Screw It's the dirt and will not be coming back unless the Apo does his job. Miss next game. No Apo used. DJ Screw is done for the foreseeable playoff. We finally get our our taste for the uh, bone crunching sound. Now, if we can get a nice is that the end of the blue bowling, or is that uh... if we we can get a second release here if Grashnak does his job, his only freaking job. <laughs> And really, this holds is demanding death. Although eyes is not satisfied. My God. I think there's plenty of opportunity for death here. A thirty out of thirty-one star player point SBP piece. Just one piece away from, or one uh, pass from leveling. That is exactly what the crowd wants to kill. There's not. It's he, he, his time. His time has come. There's really not another better blitz. Yeah, you could go after the killer with Mighty Blow, I suppose. But that's not going to get you onto the ball. No! <laughs> what is this? Oh. The cowardice. He goes after the killer. I mean, killing a legend would be cool. He's not a legend yet, though. No. 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 There's only one reaction to this. <laughs> is that Kevin Sullivan? It is. <laughs> I'm nothing if not... A fan of dated memes. <laughs> Do you finally see a foul? And it's no good. It wasn't no assist foul, though. So that's going to probably end the Chorf turn. It does end the Chorf turn. I guess these three players over here are keeping quite a few Chaos players locked down. Um, 
And we finally did see Grashnak do anything. Or something. And uh, base up a couple players, but... Again, we are getting short on time, and there's a death! Hey! <laughs> Little Kiki. That's not gonna be an effort. Little charge. Kiki fouls the chaos door or the the beast man, the rabbit, and the rat says, "Uh, uh, I ain't having that." And we finally see some death. Now we now we're all just sitting back looking for our smokes. Two removals in two turns. Hold on to your butts, boys. We might be actually playing Blood Bowl. All right, another AV7 going down. Another break. Just, just a stun. Chain push play. Gets Grashnak out of the way. Another death! We Aye! did it! Oh. Tantric Blood Bowl <laughs> confirmed! The longer the wait, the more the pleasure. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Fortunately, I have a vape so I can uh, smoke inside. <laughs> Chabsu is Sting confirmed. Weird accent. Oh, yeah. Definitely a thing. Now the bull centaur. Can we get third one? Reroll that shit. Aw. Oh, Howard. <laughs> it's overtime format. The correct play is not to reroll that. But we just knew it was right. coming. The only disappointing thing is that these are the most meaningless players on the pitch. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Don't take it away from I'm us. not, I'm not. Don't try and take those it away are, from Those me. are beautiful sound effects that we got to enjoy. But I'm just saying, had it been uh, this bull centaur, would have been a little sweeter. Yapo hasn't even earned his paycheck yet. Yeah, I mean, this Cunning Fox points out, uh, one of them was one SPP away from leveling to get dirty player, so it's not ideal if you're Volps. None of us understand Cynical. None of us understand why the surf didn't happen. In fact, it's still an option right hmm. now. It's a little bit longer, so he's probably going to have to roll GFIs to do it. But uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one GFI, and he could still do the surf. And probably make a second GFI to mark the ball. Crash net gauge dive. Uh, if you had break tackle, I would be all about that. Oh yes, two GFIs, you're right. There's a score there. Catch, Steve. Then you probably don't go for the surf just because you're going to get counter-surfed. And you've already moved your bulls that you could have put in there to prevent that. Gotta be... Well, no, he just blitzed there. I don't know what he's doing with Grashnak. I really don't. My dog expressing his displeasure. <laughs> I thought it was the collective noise that everyone in chat was making when there would be no deaths or injuries. <laughs> Is 
Still getting value out of these players. I don't like this bull going over here. Red die block does get the push. That's the kind of desperation that I would have liked to see out of Volps uh, three, four turns ago. Mm. Here we are, turn 15. Uh, Chapsu does have to make forward progress. At least one square up, but really probably three squares up. <laughs> Thanks for the clip lurking. And now we're getting another bold, bull centaur blitz. It's crap. Would you prefer you rolled that? I would have, but it's not probably the best statistical play for overtime format, considering that this is anything but a safe and easy touchdown. But yeah, this bull centaur placement right here just seems strange from slum thug he wanted to lock down this blodge beast man and he did that but he gave up basically the entire left side of the pitch which was obviously where chabsu was mm -hmm. going to head down um and you had the right side locked down with these players that you already had here so to me it would have made a lot more sense to either blitz on the left side of the pitch and get grashnak into a better position or keep those both centaurs over there as well Um, the Guard Beast isn't in the best spot. This makes it a little bit better. Yeah, we, it's looking like we might have to see a bit of a miracle play out of Lopez to stop Chabzu from running these hill intensity. The miracle play, not that it's going to work, but it would be possibly a full cage dive. I mean, that's why this Guard Piece is here, is to make the dive a little bit harder. And it does do that. Grashnak also could Grashnak. open up a back door. Uphill. Not if you uphill him. Oh, he's going to be a one die, I think. No, no, it is uphill. Jesus. Uh. Yeah, buddy, that, that Grashnak's base strength yeah. six. Doesn't get uphill, so he could open up a back door. They all grash that back door, huh? <laughs> huh? Uh, you gotta pay extra for that. Eh. Thought we were already paying too much for Tantric Blood Bowl. Well, we did not pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> we paid for the release. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that's going to open that door. Watching this takes electricity, which is not free, so give us our money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's your miracle play. Six plus, six plus into a six on the uh, pow. Rash neck, double dodge. <laughs> Actually, it's the first one's not even a six plus. It's a four plus into a six plus into a pow. And then it's a two die into a three die, actually. Oh, okay. All the dodges. Holy shit. Not a pow. Needs to re-roll this. Needs to re-roll this. Needs to re-roll this. <laughs> Not a pow. Frenzy surf the bull sent off. Yeah, he casually did the four plus dodge. Um, 
two of them. He actually didn't use break tackle on either of those dodges. Oh no, he did on the first one. The first one was break tackle. Okay. He has a four plus there. Yeah, that makes sense. Frenzy Surf April Center. <laughs> There's a four plus dodge failure. <laughs> And this is pretty simple. Surf, Le Bull Centaur, run the bowling. Yeah, I think uh, Slim Thug might get a little slimmer. Surf. Finally, Boom. pile on a bowl. Oh. Boom. I'm not sure why we're making all these other blocks. He's still thinking that he has to rebuild his team, so he's just trying to get whatever SPP he can. But the dog does run it in, and that will most likely be the match, unless we can see a Chaos Dwarf one turn, but I'm going to be honest, I don't think we will. <laughs> we could see a Riot. That could extend it by one turn, and then I still don't think we're going to see the Chaos Dwarf two turn. But it's technically possible that we will give him a chance. I mean, on one turn, he's technically possible. It's a Bull Centaur. I mean, they've got good movement. Hmm. They only... And, like, Grashnak's got Frenzy, so you get two hits out of Grashnak. Yeah. I don't know how well Volpez knows his one turns. I don't know what else he's played other than Chorfs, but if he was a Undead team or a Kislev team or a Bretonian team, he would know how to do a movement seven one turn. Not when you not when you just look at the bull center as being movement nine one thirty. I would equate it to a movement seven one turn, just with sprint. Hmm. Because you still need to make those GFIs. So, anyone that's got ghouls. Yeah, Troc, I think... I think the star player with the bull centaur would have been better. Uh, the only way that this was not nah, wrong, gonna get wrong. Grashnax, Grashnax offered up main value. The main value, sure, but he didn't surf with them. If he surfed with them, I would have had a totally different opinion. But because he had the surf and didn't take it, that just tells me that he would have probably been better off with the bull centaur. All right. Quickly, let's search Blood Bowl Tactics for one turn. Movement seven, one turn. With Frenzy. <laughs> He's setting up more for a riot. Still gotta fill the gap. He is going for the one turn. 
He's just not doing it the way I would do it with Frenzy. I feel like he's just looking up the standard movement 7-1 turn. And not the one that does Frenzy. But he doesn't have to rely on this guy making this block to the, the side here. Um, if he's going to use the Frenzy for the Blitz. Which I would. I also wouldn't be going through the Chaos Warrior. I'd be going through the Beast Man. So it's a 3 die. The whole way through. Mm-hmm. But he's clearly looking up a strat that has it coming from this direction. Which is why he's going for the less optimal route. Gotta get one more of these hobgoblins up in here. I mean, it can't be any worse than the Hindi one turn lurking. <laughs> fortunate, very, very fortunate for Hindi. The VOD of that one turn attempt has been forever lost to history. Oh, no. Let's just say it was the entire four minutes of setting up with many, many, <laughs> many swaps back and forth. And then he completely blocked botches the blitz like right off the bat it was a piece of work that was a deep kick you definitely go back there for it and hope that it scatters out of bounds and you don't catch it he doesn't go out yeah he didn't try to catch it because he wanted it to scatter and not have the catch roll but this backfires is now he has to make basically a, a longer pass. Doesn't get the push either. Probably all she wrote. Hundred percent all she wrote. No other way to make this work. The other thing that you can do when you have frenzy and you're doing the one turn play is you can actually give yourself a second chance. Should the blitz not work? Yeah. Um, you have to just leave that gap there and put him. Like right here so it pushes and then you get a second one but that's much harder usually only movement eight teams can really go for that anyway um like uh, necro can do it that way because they've got both uh, the the frenzy the yeah the, the wolves with frenzy so they can get away with that but Kaldzu. Could see a respect foul onto this Chaos Warrior. I think that would be a <laughs> fair and balanced Respectful thing, to do. thing to do. Only four assists. Here it comes. I think there's a GFI here. It does work, though. And no casualty. So that does it, folks. Everybody out there, uh, farm animals, chaps who does get the win. And the Rel v Rel match, Rel wins. Um, <laughs> the real winners, though, are the Tantric Blood Bowl enthusiasts. <laughs> we waited all match long to get those sweet, sweet casualties, and they finally came at the very end. Any any closing thoughts there, Crusader, before we let this one go? Strike it from our uh, memories. Nah, uh, not really. I think uh, Volpe has played a little too passively and... Shabzu spent way too much time to, uh, time trying to kill Grashnak. So. Yeah, I think those are both good takeaways. Uh, you know, the Chorfs were absolutely outguarded. They were going to have to take some risk. They were not going to just straight up win that match yeah. matchup. Um, but when Chabzu was also playing so passive, it kind of, you know, plays into Chabzu's hand to let him get his. Claw Mighty Blow block one each turn yeah. until he can get into the perfect position with all of his guard 
which is what he did. Um, and then it was interesting. Chabsu would love to discuss the Grashnak stuff at the start of the game. <laughs> I bet you would. It was yeah. an interesting choice. The red it, mist descended. It technically did work out because you were able to two-turn. But uh, I would have liked to see more pressure on the ball a little bit earlier in order to force the score before turn seven. That's all. Yeah. Because you had the you had the strength four, and the frenzy beast man on the uh, bottom side of the pitch, and instead of pressuring the ball with them, you brought them into the fight, and tried to screen your your killer. I didn't like that, but otherwise, I think you played fine, Jabsu. Yeah. No, I got nothing else. Yeah. Oh yeah, Chaps, you did get a surf by Grashnak, but he didn't take it. So, got away with that one. All right, that's going to do it for us. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this Rebel Playoff weekend. It's going to only get slower from here, and then we have the Open Invitational. So, uh, look forward to seeing all those wonderful Open Invitational games that I will, in fact, be partaking in. Um, but I am Superfed TV. Joining me again on Holy Crusader. Thank you so much. We will, uh, who's got the next match, I guess? That's the one final thing I'm supposed to do before I sign off. Uh, uh, um, let me yeah. bring the calendar up. Do, 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 Shadow do, do, Hill Cowboys do. and versus Picking Flowers. Sand Dune tomorrow morning, so that would be three, quick math, super fed, 15 hours from now. 15 and a half hours from now, roughly. Or is that the last match of the? It looks like that might be. Let me. I've got the uh, playoffs here. Let me pull them up and make sure that that is correct. Yeah, San June versus Mega. Uh, yeah, that'll be the last game of the uh, round of sixty-four. Wow. Mm. All right. Flowers. That's bye week. Bye week. Yep, that is it. Very well. Um, so we'll we'll have to catch that match tomorrow, and until uh, then, we will see you in the second round, the round of thirty-two. You guys have a good night.